Hello friends, welcome to Coach Rice Academy and today we are going to start a very important political philosopher that is J.S. Mill, John Stuart Mill. So J.S. Mill is a disciple of uh, Bentham and he starts his philosophy by critically examining the philosophy of Bentham. And he says that I am the Peter who has denied his master. In other words, J.S. Mill completely revised the philosophy of Bentham. So let me take you for some time to Bentham. So Bentham is a scholar who says that the only parameter of deciding right and wrong is the doctrine of pleasure and pain. That means if our action gives us pleasure, then that is moral. And if that action gives us pain, that is, then that is immoral. Now J.S. Mill says that it is not the quantity, but it is the quality of pleasure that matters and on the basis of quality of pleasure we can say that that action is morally correct or morally wrong. So J.S. Mill quotes the example of Socrates and he says that a person like Socrates, an intellectual wise man like Socrates would draw pleasure from something and a common man would draw pleasure from something else. And that is why he says it is better to be an unsatisfied Socrates rather than becoming a satisfied man. His, other, uh, his another statement is, it is better to be an unsatisfied man rather than becoming a satisfied pig. So by this statement, Mill wants to say that simply for the sake of pleasure, simply to gain pleasure, to draw pleasure, we should not become pig, but we should remain a human being, we should remain a man. After this, uh, views of J.S. Mill in freedom of speech and expression is very important. So J.S. Mill is a very aggressive supporter of freedom of speech. He is a propounder, champion of liberty of speech. And Mill says that the freedom of speech and expression, the right to express ourselves should be protected at every cost. And everyone should be allowed to speak. And majority is not correct in silencing the voice of minority. Everyone should be allowed to speak, even a mad man should be allowed to speak because truth can emerge only when everyone will be allowed to express his views. After this, the view of J.S. Mill on democracy is very important. So J.S. Uh, Mill says that democracy is not a free gift and we have got the democracy after long struggle and that is why we should put conditions on democracy so that we can protect this democracy. And therefore, Mill suggests that there should be some conditions and he suggests the condition of property and education to protect democracy. That is only those people who are educationally qualified or the people who have some kind of property, they should only be allowed to vote. Otherwise, democracy will collapse. And that is why J.S. Mill is also known as reluctant democrat for infusing aristocracy in democracy. Hope I am very clear. Thank you.